So I think that there's this perception that millennials are apathetic, that they don't care about anything. And I think they care a lot and they are, um, they are very active in many spaces. They just, they don't find that the channels that government proposes us to interact with are the proper ones. For example, going on a Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon to a public meeting, it seems like from a completely different time, right? Now it's very hard. And even in the, in the, in the US, for example, we vote on a Tuesday you know, in the middle of the day, why don't we at least vote on a Sunday, right? So the whole system is designed to keep as, more, as um, many people as possible outside of the system. That's how it's designed. Um, if you think even the language of the system is completely inaccessible, right? It's done by lawyers for lawyers and no one else sort of kind of understands what on earth is going on. Uh, and millennials in particular are not interested in engaging with political institutions at that level. So what I think what we can do and need to do is it's flip the equation. So instead of thinking how we can attract people to our town halls on a Tuesday, is how we can go where those interactions are happening. So how we can use technology to create spaces where we normally millennials interact and chat, how we can get there instead of forcing them to come out to um, spaces that the government usually has.